Good day, friends. I hope you are well. We would like to welcome you today to another episode of Soul Winners. And today, in our studio, we have a very special guest, all the way from George, an evangelist. And we have invited him today um, to come and give us a testimony of his life. I know he comes very far, all the way from George, which is five hours away from Cape Town. So we decided we should have him in studio so that he can talk to us and share his experiences with us. Brother Lem, welcome to our episode. Hey, Brother Vala, thank you very much. And everyone that's uh, tuned in, good, good day. Good day, beloved. All right, you are in Cape Town. What are you doing here today? Leadership um, in Cape Town currently, I just conducted a week campaign in Sikokele Church in Kales Rafir in Kalkfontein. I was there, there last year and I had a very, very special friend. I was doing a, an Afrikaans campaign uh, for two weeks and this year, by God's grace, I only did uh, one week which ended off today. Alright, an Afrikaans campaign, that is very interesting. So before you came to Skokela, which other campaigns did you do during this month? Yeah, during this month I went to Bethelsdorp uh, and I went also to Grahamstown last week Sabbath. Uh, we had an open air there and by God's grace, according to the people staying there, they said it was the first in more than 60 years. Bethelsdorp is in the Eastern Cape. Bethelsdorp in the Eastern so Cape. So you are moving between Eastern Cape and Western Cape. Yeah, my leader. I yeah. was in Bethelsdorp, then I came back, then I went again to Bethelsdorp and last week I was in Grahamstown in Grahamstown uh, sharing the good news. All right. So how did the people receive the message right there in uh, Bethelsdorp? In Bethelsdorp, it's, yo, my brood, that was wonderful. Mm. The people say, in Bethelsdorp was it for 37 years, said the young. Mm. 37 years. For 37 years, they had, didn't they have an open air. Wow. So, uh, and the folk was hungry, they were hungry for the word and they mm. accepted the good message that mm. Jesus is coming again. All right, so you, you're talking about open airs. For other people, maybe in parts, in other parts of the country, that is, out, other parts of South Africa, and also maybe outside of South Africa, they might not know what an open air is. What exactly is an open air? What do you do in an open air? Leadership in an open air, on is da beiter in die field. We are in the field and I'm putting up my sound and, and uh, God, by God's grace about six speakers making sure that the sound travel as far as possible. Then we sing a few uh, songs according to the, uh, the area we are doing the campaign, conducting the, the open air, not the campaign. So we hang from the area, then sing us leader to ear from the year, but the area good gesind is, which means that we are relating to the community when we are there. And then as, as soon as we are done with the singing and praying, and then make us up with the word, we give us the wahre, the saver word of the year, and liefde and the rechtwees, and up to the redding of all the sin. So, so you basically preaching on the street? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, that thing is, a, is, is, is very difficult to do. Uh, when did you start preaching on the streets? My brother, I started preaching in uh, 2018. I went to the Bible school, evangelism Bible school. To, to be sharpened, uh, like the, the word say, iron sharpened iron. So I went to the Bible school, and 20, even in 2018 and 2019, I did open airs in Blanco, in Borchards, in Cornwall, in those parts of, 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 of George in a special way. And then 2020, in COVID, lockdown level five, by God's grace, I started preaching in front of my gate with one speaker. One speaker. One speaker. In front of your gate. In front of my gate. We couldn't <laughs> went to uh, go to church. Da kan nie kon nie by eenkomstige reël gewees het nie. So die Here die Gees het op my hart gelê dat ek 'n manier moet kry om die volk te bemoedig. So I started in front of my house. Uh, in, in inside my gate in front of my house, my house and my wife and kids were sitting next to me and sharing the good news. Oh, that's very, very encouraging. Uh, you mentioned it was during COVID, hard lockdown, level five, level when five. people were not able to go to church, but you were able to have church. 
That is such an, ex uh, uh, an encouraging experience. Yes, and that is when the Lord uh, really established Lighthouse Ministry. That's a, the supporting ministry that I'm uh, currently working uh, with. Uh, it, it is a supporting ministry that is registered and that is uh, acknowledged by our uh, local church, Conville SDA Church. They have blessed me. So Lighthouse Ministry, I started with the one speaker and I shared the good news. Then there's a sound technician that came uh, and assisted me. Then there was a keyboard player. Then there was uh, someone that could lead. And then there was a prayer warrior that came. So by God's grace, when we are able to allow God to work through us, He puts the team together. Uh, and ons van die tijd af doen ons oopbelichte en ons doen Bible studies Wherever they, the, the people are requiring and requesting, uh, we go and share the good news of Jesus is coming again. Ah, that's quite encouraging to hear, my brother. Now, now tell me more. What challenges do you often face when you have to stand on the street and preach? You know, there's a lot of times when you preach and then people don't listen. Don't listen. They, 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 they don't. Uh, give over to the Spirit of the Lord, but that mustn't or that don't encourage, does encourage me. That is actually giving me more courage to keep on sharing the word because uh, as I can my life, then by baie oopelig dat ek voorbij gestap en dan het ek my gezicht gedraai of ek het my kop gedraai en eerbied vir die woord, maar ook omdat ek nie die heerlijkheid van God kon staan because I couldn't uh, stand in His uh, glory. Mm. That's why I was ashamed because I was sinful. Therefore, because I came from that background, the Lord is now asking and urging me to go back to them and tell them that I've been there, glory to God, I've been there, and by accepting the grace and the goodness of God, He can also change whoever allows the Spirit of the Lord to work to and with them. That's wonderful to hear, my brother. Um, how many years have you been doing this work now? Currently, it's, it's, for, it's about six years now. It's about six years. Uh, like I said, 2018 I started and it's now 2024. So this year, it's actually the first year that uh, the Lord has called me to minister so uh, in so many towns. Uh, like I said, I just came from Bethelsdorf, Grangetown. I was in Cape Town now. In September, I'm going to uh, Free State. I'm going to Free State to do a two-week campaign there. October, by God's grace, I'll be in Tafelsach in Cape Town again for two weeks. And then November, just before session, before the end of the year, I'm going to Friedenburg in the West Coast to do a two-week campaign there. So I, plea, I, I pray for God and, and, and I ask His blessing to keep me strong and healthy to allow me, Him to work with me, through me, with His people for the saving of souls. All right, Brother Lem, I want you now to take us through, take us through your experience. Before you started doing these open airs, there must have been a turning point in your life. So what I want now, maybe our audience, they are interested, they would like to know, what was the turning point in your life? What caused you to leave your comfort so that you can... Um, minister as you are ministering right now what was the turning point of your life my brother uh, beloved the turning point was in 2012 2012 2012 mm. my wife is currently a professional nurse and she studied nursing then mm -hmm. and it was the specific that the, 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 was a specific sunday evening mm. me my wife and the two kids were laying on bed mm lying on bed and thinking that everything is fine. We were laughing and joking. The normal Sunday of yes. relaxing. Yeah, I get it. Sure. But it was the turning point because while, we, while I thought, or oh, we were happy for a moment, mm. and I thought that everything is fine, and mm. all of a sudden, it came to our mind or to the situation or to the, uh, uh, the where we were busy laughing and so and, and my wife said she hopes the taxi will be early tomorrow. And the kids asked, but why? And then she said, I must go to Cape Town for the week. And then that was when the Lord speak to me. Beloved, I've never felt how I felt that evening. My kids says, 
in my face. Wherever, where I was in my comfort, they say that it's not lacquer if mom is not home. And I was thinking, but I give these kids money, I give them whatever they ask, I, and Afrikaans don't say, Ek bederfala. But that's not what my kids wanted. That's not what, to, what today's kids want. They want love. They want care. They want to feel that you are present. I was there, but I wasn't there. And that specific, because they said it's not lacquer. Why? Because daddy is not at home. He keeps being away and he keeps being drunk. I need to say this with all humility. Telling someone today that wherever you are, it's not in, and it's not in the line of the Lord's work. It's not where he wants you to be. Telling me that it's not like, and now I'm thinking, but why, how, how, Lord, how can it be? I give them whatever they ask, maybe money or whatever. If they want clothes or something, I give, I buy them. And that's not what they wanted. They wanted care. They wanted love. They wanted my presence, which I didn't give them. That year, my brother, that was, and, and, and beloved, that was the turning point when the Lord spoke to me. And just a month after that, uh, October month, I went to my brother-in-law's wedding and uh, uh, the, the pastor that, that was conducting the marriage is giving, I believe it was for me. Mm. I say, he says, mm. there are men inside mm. that are not priests. Yeah. Why? Because they are not connected to the high priest. Yeah. Why? They can't teach their children. Oh. They can't pray for their children. Mm. They don't lead their children to Jesus mm. because they are not at their posts. Mm. Sitting there, thinking that, who, was, who is this man to tell me that that's the second time? My bro, mm. beloved, the third time mm. the Lord spoke to me was when my wife went for rebaptism uh, the 2nd of November 2012. And that was the turning mm. point that I give over and I say, Lord, you've spoken enough. Mm. Here am I, take my life and make it yours. Mm. So these three significant events, it seems as if all these events are connected to your family life. Yes. First, God used your children to speak to you. And then secondly, he used uh, the baptism of your wife to the, speak the, to you. The, the, my brother, That's the my third sister. part. That's yes. the third time. My yeah. sister. Yeah. The baptism of your sister. Yeah. No, no. Of the marriage of my wedding of my sister. Yes. I see the second time the marriage. Yes. And then the third time he spoke to you through the re-baptism of your wife. Yes. Yes. Wow. This is quite um, interesting and, and powerful. So is there a message maybe you would like to share with someone out there who is in a state of desperation? There is someone who might be listening to this, who might be watching, who is maybe have given up on life. They are going to church, some of these people. They see God using other people. They see you preaching on the streets. They see you doing Bible studies. They see you traveling from town to town. And they are maybe asking themselves the question, when will God use me? What would you have to say for a person who has such uh, questions? It, 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 it takes me straight to the Bible, uh, beloved. It takes me straight to the Bible and it's taking me to Jesus and his disciples. And I'm going to use, in short, I'm going to use this one with a woman with a loss of blood. Mm. Now you need to remember that for 12 years she was cast out, nothing, no one whatsoever. But she tells herself, I've heard about a man Mm. that will pass by at a certain time. Mm. Now, I, I, I want you to grab this. I want you to grab this. She's making plans mm. to meet the master. Mm. She's not making plans only to get healed, mm. only to get a stop for mm. the flow of blood, the mm. unnatural flow of blood. No. Mm. She's making plans to meet the master. Mm. Now, when she touches the master, mm. there was a blessing and a lesson for everybody who mm. surrounded Jesus that day, mm. who walked with Jesus that day, 
who worked with Jesus that day, the disciples, mm. even those that touched Jesus mm. that day, mm. saying, Jesus asking, who touched me? Mm. Peter asking, Lord, what do you mean? We've been together for a whole day. Look at the amount of people mm. pressing around you, mm. touching you, asking you for blessings. He said, no, you, 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 you're not with me. Someone touched me. Mm. Because I felt the power went out of me. Mm. What I'm asking you is, no matter where you are, you've been walking with Jesus. Mm. You've been walking, uh, working for Jesus. Mm. But you've never walked in Jesus. Mm. You've never worked in Jesus. Mm. Meaning, you're not in the church. 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 But that's not Jesus the middle point is. Mm. Jesus sê, jylle almal raak my aan, dit is vir mm. hoe lang by my, mm. maar dit nog nie geloof gevat, mm. dat ek jou leven kan red nie. Daarom wil ek vir iemand sê vandag, that's why I wanted to tell someone today, allow Jesus, allow Jesus to be your God. Mm. Allow Jesus to work with you, although you might be working with him, it's almost, dat is amper asof hy nie met jou werk. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? It's, mm. it's you work with him, but it's not in him. Mm. It, it, it might seem that it's uncontradicting or it's... No, 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 no. That's an African saying what say. You don't have to be with the things of the Lord and you miss the Lord of the things. That's why I want to encourage you. Allow Jesus to be God. He listens to you. In short, can I, can I share this? Mm. In Daniel 9, Daniel and his, and his friend is, pray, is praying, all of a sudden, in, in, immediately, immediately, they get an answer. Mm. Daniel 10, they prayed for 21 days. Mm. No answer. Mm. The angel comes to Daniel and says, Daniel, because you are beloved, a beloved of God, from the first day that you prayed, your answer was heard, your prayer was heard. But the Satan came and stopped me. But when the Satan when Satan stopped me, mm. Jesus came self to fight the battle. It might be that Satan is holding you back. Not you, not your blessing. The blessing that I'm speaking about is the presence of God. It might be that he holds the presence of God back, but Jesus is coming through. Just hold on. Just allow him to work through you, to work with you. Jesus with you, not you with him, but Jesus with you so that you can work in him. Jesus will fulfill his promise. Hallelujah. Wow. Thank you so much, Brother Lem, for such a, an inspiring and a powerful message. I'm sure our viewers have enjoyed having you in the studio with us today. Now, to all of us who have been watching and listening to the testimony of Brother Lambert, we hope that you were inspired and encouraged. What God has done for Brother Mart, he can also do for you. He can set you free from the shackles of sin. He can make you the light bearer for the kingdom of heaven. Let us all remember that every follower of Jesus has a work to do as a missionary for Christ. In the family, in the neighborhood, in the town or city where he lives. When they see him roll back the, the, the stone like a small and no, and no word of the word. Now they hear the word. Jesus. Jesus. Son of God. Son of God. Come out. Come out. Your father root you. Your father is calling you. He called it. Now here he comes, beloved. And I see Jesus at the grave come. And they hear the word. And they see Jesus coming from the grave with this word. Take us the up, stand down. I am the resurrection. I am the life. And so say, I grave come. As he comes from the grave. May the earthquake and glory. May this with his glory. Break the vault from angel for a mere and unbidden total for loser. The, 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 the host of the angels they bow in the presence of their dear redeemer. Thank the year. Praise and the Lord. And welcome him with love, song, and praise. And they welcome him with joyful songs and praise. Oh, you must know that he is the one who made You must remember I mentioned this during the week. A earthquake. An earthquake. It, it, it announced the hour. It announced the hour. When he laid down his life. 
life. And earthquake. And he is unconquerable. He had he announced the hour. He said, "Never fear, open your mouth." When he took up his life again, Jesus. Yes. He did not open it. He did not just pick it up. He opened him and overwhelmed him. But he took it up in victory. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Can you hear me, Lord? Are you going through a difficult time? You don't know how you're going to get out of it. Don't stand here, don't you fuss. Your situation is binding you. Don't you worry. When you worry me. When you come at this day. Don't you worry. When you free us day. When you are free. It's all the situation. The same situation. Don't fuss when there is binding you. Don't you hear the cry for God to come and save me. Not to see the glory of God. It's all the standing here. The same situation. That don't don't care for your life. That looks dark before you. It's all the situation. It's that situation. That is going to stand. That is going to. To see that is going to see the yarra kai fan the yarra the glory of the Lord. Van yar, wa when van yar when me ask me can I fan the yarra? Not when. If at my not if can wear. If you can hear my voice. Me. Not if van yar the yarra you can escape. When God is going to establish. Warum? Why? Jesus is up to stand because Jesus has risen. Hij is waardig om geprezen te worden. Hij is waardig om te worden geprezen. Forgiveness of our sins. My praise the Lord. My praise the Lord. That the good news that if I hear the young man come, that the good news came to this young man. Jesus is in the door. Jesus is in town. Good news is for now. If for Calfontein. Good news I hear for Calfontein. Jesus has come. Jesus has come. Let the blood stop and the tide flow here. This. What the message in a time like this? That the love is in you. That you need faith. Ongeret te worden. Ik zeg, je moet besef prijs de Heer. You must realize. De Heer die jong man. That this young man was daar goede nieuws. There was good news. Maar ook slechte nieuws. Also bad news. De goede nieuws is Jesus is in het dorp. The good news is that Jesus is in town. Maar hij is vastgekleister aan zijn mat. But he is tied in his mat. And Jesus was the only manier van genezen. Jesus was his only solution to healing. And there were they for lambas. And when he was crippled, it had a wonder that no other had. He needed a great a miracle, miraculous way. You see, friend. You see, my dear friends. That's absolute war. It is true. That sonder. That sin. As the greatest sin of Adar as is the greatest sickness there is. But let me tell you something. But let me tell you something. Jesus. They are going to come in the name of Jesus. They are not going to come in the name of another person. But they are going to come in the name of Jesus. Not everyone who says Jesus, Jesus, is of Jesus. Can you say that again? Let me say it again. Not everyone. But say what says Jesus? Jesus is of Jesus. Are we together, my friends? Today the pastors. They are eating grass. Are you on the same team? <laughs> they are giving people petrol. Who told you that you must eat grass for you to connect with God? Who told you that you must drink petrol to connect with Jesus? But today, God's man, man of God. No, hi. I see a kid there. Baby. Baby. Vandaag de apostels. Vandaag de apostels. Are sleeping with church members. Here they are, baby. Are slapping and slapping church members. These preachers. Yes, sir. These days. These days. Het is gevaarlijk. Het is dangerous. Toen kliep 
your how your wife accepts on your vrouw wat die kerk te los when the apostle when the apostle is it rest oh yeah yeah okay don't have rest you don't have the rest of god the apostle the blood is warm yeah oh yeah okay come my friends amen amen he as it tickles when the last the dark is the signs of the time Jesus is coming again. But today we are here to tell you. Don't be worried. There is no need the end of this. Read the next verse my brother quickly. Quickly quickly quickly. quickly. Yes please please. And yellow sal word van oorlo. Hi 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 wait 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 wait. What? Oorlo. You are going to hear of war. and rumors of war who was who is, oh okay we are all from here amen amen last year last year ukraine and russia ukraine and russia we all know what happened amen we had world war 1 was the war from there on world war 1 world war 2 the vietnam apartheid in south africa apartheid in south africa xenophobia xenophobia signs of the times we can find it there Even as we speak right now, brother Lem, the spirit is moving me, my brother, to say this. As we speak right now, there is war in Congo. There is a war in Congo. There was war in Mozambique. There was war in Mozambique. There is war in Syria. There is war in Syria. There is war in Libya. There is war in Libya. In Israel. In Israel. Palestine. Palestine. Then the, the nations are angry. Is a signs of the times yes, really read my brother i need to finish this quickly now i said pass up hey 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 pass up when it is the word who come here who come but alles moet plaas vind alles moet plaas vind en leer alles moet plaas vind finish it my brother Dan is hij. Als hij twee belangrijke goed van ons, die komen in. En maar. Finish it, my brother. Maar dat is nog niet de einde. I like the part that says these things must happen. Hier die dingen moeten plaatsvinden. But it is still not the end. Nog niet de einde. Listen to me very carefully. Why is it important for these things to happen? There are two reasons. Two reasons. Reason number one. If you read in the book of John, Jesus said, "And the book by John says, Jesus, I have told you before it happens, so that when it happens, you are going to have faith." Today, hey, we are weak. We don't have faith because we don't understand the times. The second reason. Number one. Number one. I want you to have faith. That God is in charge. He is the same yesterday. He is the same today. He is the same tomorrow. He is going to be the same forever and ever and ever. Thank you, Lord. The second reason. Why these things must happen? It is because they are believers. Who are building their houses? They are believers. Who are building their houses? On sand. At the same time, they are believers who are building their houses on a rock. 
So the house must be tested. Dat die kracht van die Heer is nog werking, my God. En vanavond, Heer, kan ek sien dat haar traan is gemengd met die liefdevolle traan van ons Heer en Leester. Die Himmel is juig vanavond, want bekering het geskiet, my God. Heer, as het is dat die Heer die week uitgesit het, net vir hulle twee Heer, loop ons die Heer, want die naam van die Heer is werd om geprys te word. Dat is niet waarde. Wat je uit kan kopen voor een ziel wat tot die Heer bekeert niet. Want die bloed van die lam het ons vrij gemaakt. En zij die nodig Heer. Ik ken haar Heer. Ik weet wat zij nodig het met God. Heer, toe die vrouw bij die put kom, vraag sy, wat het jy met my te doen? Ons het die gemeenskap nie, maar die Heere kom by die put, en hy wees, Heere, dat meer, hy is die enigste Heer, wat meer het het afbreek. En hy bouw een vernootskap met haar, hy lees ons ons, hy sê, Heere, hy lees haar leven af, sy sê, waarlik, as hy die een, sy gaan terug, sy gaan haal almal Heere, ons het nodig om vanavond te kom en te sê, ons het die een gevind, wat my die beste ken, sy het vanavond die gevind Heere, die beste geskenk van God af, sy geliefde sien, hou haar trouw my God, Heere hou haar vast, Heere vraag nou, dat sy met haar vernootskap met u, dat u die engel sal opdrag gee. Die Bijbel leer ons, een vrou wat die Heere dien, moet geprys word. En vanavond het u die Heere,